Rami, you can share the list today, right? And then we will continue with the rest of the questions. Yeah. Right, so I think we stopped on the parametric one. Yeah, we did this. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it's an expen exponential one. So figure six shows a sketch of a part of a curve with equation y equals three times two to the power of two x. Um, the point P, A96 root two lies on the curve. Find the exact value of A. So just substitute the y value in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. So um, then part B will show that the x coordinate, oh, oh sorry, the curve meets um, the equation y equals three times two to the power of two x. And um, it meets the curve with equation y equals six to the power of three minus x at the point q. So part B show that the x coordinate q is that. Okay. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. We normally take questions which students find difficult. The idea is to make them understand the basic concepts and look into strategies which can help solve such questions. In this playlist, we are preparing our student for the final exam at Excel level A. The questions are being shared by my student Amy. I hope their solution will help all. We'll begin with discussion on the question and then I'm going to provide you with complete solution. We are given a graph of an exponential function with a point P. The question here is Figure 6 shows sketch of part of the curve with the equation y equals 2, 3 times 2 to the power of 2x. The point P, A, 96 square root 2, lies on the curve. Find the exact value of A. It is extended to part B, where it says that the curve with the equation y equals to 3 times 2 to the power of x meets the curve with the equation y equals to 6 to the power of 3 minus x at a point q. Show that the x coordinate of point q is given by a logarithmic expression 3 plus 2 log to the base 2 of 3 divided by 3 plus log to the base 2 of 3. I would like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, let us see how to solve such questions. So, let's do part A, where on the curve, we are given a point P. So, the point P given to us is A, 96 square root 2. The function is y equals 2, 3 times 2 to the power of 2x. So, if we know the y value, you can find the x value by submitting the coordinates in the given equation. So, what do we get? The x value being a and the y value being 96 square root 2. So we can write 96 square root 2 is equal to 3 times 2 to the power of 2a since x is a. Now we can divide by 3. So we get 96 square root 2 divide by 3 equals to 2 to the power of 2a. So this is 96. Yeah. So, dividing by 3, 96, we get 32. Square root 2 equals to 2 to the power of 2a. Since the base is 2, we can also write the left hand side to the base 2. You know, 32 is 2 to the power of 5. 
and we have 2 to the power of half which is square root 2 that should be equal to 2 to the power of 2a so now you can solve for a the left side is 2 to the power of 5 plus half right 5 and a half which is equals to 2 to the power of 2a that clearly indicates that 5 plus half should be equal to 2a, right? So, which is 10 plus 11, 1, which is 11 by 2 equals to 2a, or we can get the value of a as 11 by 4, correct? So, that is how you can actually find the value of a. So, a is 11 by 4. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Just substitute the given point and find the x coordinate. It is important to see how we have written both sides to the base 2 so that we simplify this particular question. Now let's look into part b of the question. So in part b, the curve meets the curve y equals to 6 to the power of 3 minus x at point q show that the x coordinate of the point q is given to you as 3 plus 2 log to the base 2 of 3 over 3 plus log to the base 2 of 3. So that is what we need to show. So now we can write down that the y values should be same right. So, in the given curve, we have a function which is given to us as y equals to 6 to the power of 3 minus x and the original graph, the equation is y equals to 3 times 2 to the power of x. to the power of 2x. So, these are the two equations and clearly if they intersect both the y value should be same and therefore we can write this as 3 times 2 to the power of 2x should be equal to 6 to the power of 3 minus x. So, we need to solve this equation now. So, look here 6 can be written as 3 times 2. So, we can simplify this and write 3 times 2 to the power of 2x equals to 3 times 2 to the power of 3 minus x. And now we can write the right hand side in terms of 3s and 2s, right? So, we get 3 times 2 to the power of 2x equals to 3 to the power of 3 minus x times 2 to the power of 3 minus x. Now, Bringing the terms together, we can write 2 to the power of 2x divided by 2 to the power of 3 minus x is equal to 3 to the power of 3 minus x divided by 3. So, in exponents, we can write this as 2 to the power of 2x minus 3 minus of minus x makes it plus x, right? Equals to 3 to the power of 3 minus x minus 1. So, that is what we get. So, we write this as 2 to the power of 2x plus x is 3x minus 3 equals to 3 to the power of 3 minus 1 is 2. So, 2 minus x, right? So, so that is what we get. Now, we can take log on both the sides and then solve this particular equation. We can take log to the base 2. Since we want to show this to be log to the base 2, you get the idea. So, now I will request you to pause the video and then answer the question. 
So let's take log to the base 2 on both the sides. Then what do we get? We get log to the base 2 of 2 to the power of 3x minus 3 equals to log to the base 2 of 3 to the power of 2 minus x. So let us take it on a fresh page to solve further. So we'll write we'll write the solution on the new page, writing this as 3x minus 3 times log 2 of 2 is 1, right? So on the left hand side, I'm going to write this 3x minus 3, right? And on the right hand side, I'm going to write 2 minus x times log to the base 2 of 3. You get the idea. Applying the properties of logarithms. Perfect. So, so we get, let's continue. We get uh, 3x minus 3 on the left side equals 2 log to the base 2 of 3, 2 minus x, sorry, 2 minus x log to the base 2 of 3, correct? So that's what we get. Now we can isolate x. So we have 3x and bringing this x here plus x log to the base 2 of 3 equals to 2 log to the base 2 of 3 plus 3, correct? So now taking x common on the left hand side, we get 3 plus log base 2 of 3 equals 2. 3 plus 2. I rearrange it since that is what we are expecting to prove. And so we can write x as quotient of 3 plus 2 log to the base 2 of 3 divided by 3 plus log to the base 2 of 3. Perfect. So that is how you can actually get the exact value by rearranging the given equation. Now it's very critical as we have seen here to understand how we split 6 as the product of 3 and 2 and then solve it. Otherwise, you have to do it later when you are working with logarithms. So I hope with this, you understand all the steps required to answer such a question. Let me thank once again the student Amy for sharing such brilliant questions and I hope their solutions will be of use to all of you. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.